Hello there, it's time for another edition of Secret Origins. This time it's the Secret Origins of Pulse, who is my uh, fleet-footed superhero in Superheroes Get Hungry 2 and the larger tales of luminous beings. Um, I decided to take a crack at uh, Pulse's logo. Um, I like all of these to a certain degree. This motif here uh, appears on her, her costume, and I'll go into what that's related to. But... Um, yeah, Pulse, she's really fast, and uh, that can be helpful in certain circumstances, like when you're being super heroic. So, this is my first uh, pass at Pulse. The idea of Pulse came to me because I was thinking about kind of like muscles, like pulsing or throbbing, and kind of like... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog is called the Blue Blur, and I bring that up because I have a great passing, or not passing, I have a great uh, familiarity with Sonic the Hedgehog and whatever, but uh, I always liked the, the speed effects that were used in the animated features, and even um, in the first video game for the Sega Dreamcast, which I think came out in 1999, Sonic Adventure, he would jump up and dash, or, or even just when he did a spin dash, there would be a, a trail of, of light behind him, of blue light, and I kind of like the idea of light being utilized uh, to show how fast a character went. And actually, for this uh, speedster, because I had kind of uh, thought about this kind of cross thing on the face with a circle around it as like really weird and inhuman looking, and I like that, uh, just because I think it's fun to do every now and then. I like heroes who don't look like heroes. One of the most impactful things on me was seeing uh, Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi with a black hood and all in black, go into Jabba's palace, choke out pig guards and stuff, and uh, I didn't necessarily connect to the uh, the him using the force choke thing until uh, later seeing it, but uh, seeing him in all black made me think, that's really interesting, especially because the Empire is in greys, and, and some people are in whites, and uh, they're representing order and uh, good things, and here's this hero, um, uh, who dresses in black, and I just really like that dichotomy, and I thought, well, wouldn't you want to look like a bad guy if you were going to go into a place where bad people are, and not necessarily look like a good guy? Um, anyway, so, that's a fun idea that, uh, just has captured me for years and years. Um, so, uh, you can see here, uh, I had other potential names for, for Pulse, uh, because, Originally, the source of the speed was actually technology, and that's actually just coming back to me now. So I had frame rate, feed rate, refresh. Uh, there's something called the refresh rate on, I don't know if that's monitors or, or what now. Don't remember the technical aspect of it, but I, I settled on pulse because it just spoke to me. It was one thing, one syllable, and I like the speed of that because, you know, pulse as opposed to, oh, look, it's frame rate speeding along. It's feed rate. No, pulse. There goes pulse. That kind of thing. So... It was pretty exciting to me. So uh, I had always had this like circles and lines and, and crossing over kind of thing and I wanted it to carry through and my original idea was uh, there's this thing over the heart and there's this thing for vision and uh, you know the hands are fast and the feet have to be fast and this uh, like the back of the heels would have this circular disc kind of thing going on that would flash with light when the power was activated and the power could kind of be absorbed because I really like a lot of the technological aspects of uh, superhero powers to an extent. Then uh, I refined it a little bit, and uh, I started off with these two. I think I, I went center first, then right, then left, and uh, I had gotten into my head that I really like the asymmetry um, and the simple, simple bodysuit. And you can see on this one, it's simple, but it's almost too bare. There's almost no design going on there, and I wasn't happy with that because I needed my things to be designed. Um, so uh, then I went with this, and I thought, eh, you know, you know, runners have the heart straps and, and things like that, and I kind of wanted a, a strap or like a compression point sort of on each of the muscle groups uh, and, and limbs uh, so they would have the, uh, it just, it was more about the power and less about the design of the suit. Then over here, I started thinking, you know what, I kind of like the idea of, you know, light trails and, you know, kind of to work in pulse more and have this, uh, like, wrap around the body so it's more involved. This one, I think, uh, it may have gone over the shoulder and then back around, I'm not sure, but here I started getting into more of the, the snake uh, concept that I'm going to talk about further. Um, and I actually still like this three straps thing on the head for the mask. It's, it's pretty cool. I might have to utilize that somewhere else. Um, 
but uh, you see I got the discs here and I kind of simplified it. it's like well there's these two pulsing discs and then there's kind of light trails from them uh, all over the body uh, all over the suit um, and then I simplified it even further and uh, I kind of pinpointed it and here's where I started thinking about uh, a snake actually and really solidified you know what I wanted to be what's a fast animal you know because you've got spider-man batman cat man all these other animal people and I thought I want to do a snake because snakes are fast they strike very quickly and actually uh, as I was coming up with the character um, I decided that uh, there's this uh, uh, I actually have it written down here motif black racer snake there's a Jamaican black racer snake and pulse happens to be uh, Sonia Higgins from Jamaica. Um, and I like the idea of small heroes who are kind of contained in a, a smaller area because I enjoy the idea of smaller stories. Uh, they're more intimate, they can be more enjoyable. And uh, we've had a lot of epic stories, so we don't need to necessarily carry on all of those. So, anyway, this is where I came up with her design. And then I refined it a little, I simplified it. I took off these pieces here and even on her left hand, which I might bring that back, I don't know. But I'm really happy with uh, this kind of rendering. Uh, it's simple, uh, there's a lot going on, there's some texture here, I like that, and these rings are supposed to be actually like raised and, and whole. Um, and I've kind of abandoned the light, but the Black Racer Snake does have rings on it and it has these yellow dots on it. It's black with yellow dots, which I really like. And then this is just a copies I made for coloring. And we tried out a couple different uh, coloring samples here my wife actually helped me with these and uh, you can see here we kind of played with what the head was going to look like and we weren't sure we went you know really snaky versus uh, just kind of conceptually even this uh, this is a very serpentine and this is more uh, what I had originally and I, I like this there's something really cool about that and then uh, here's Angela's version and she actually did uh, this was the first piece of art that she did for me um, when she uh, set about going through all the different characters and doing art for them and I was really happy with this. Um, I had kind of taken a really long time to figure out what style I wanted these characters to be made in because uh, it's really important. If it's a children's book, um, I don't want to make things that are extremely kiddy but I thought, you know, I want a cute style and uh, this style actually Especially here reminds me of, um, there's a, a series of games uh, from Japan, it's uh, Shin Megami Tensei and then Persona is a spinoff of them. And in Persona Q they took the designs and they cuted them up as much as possible by squeezing and tricking the characters down. And um, anyway, I really liked that. And they even took their Personas which were less cutified um, and uh, made them look pretty cute too. But I, I really think um, that Pulse looks serious here. She looks like she's got attitude. Um, she looks like she's ready to fight. And that's cool because she's a hero and she's going to fight and uh, strive to save people. And, uh, you know, that's very indicative of who she is. And um, anyway, I like that. I really like, uh, well, I just really like the what Angela did with this. And she did something cool here. She kind of raised the pattern. And I'd mentioned that it was supposed to be like a strap. And this is a lot thicker, but. I think with this style it works, even if it's supposed to be thinner in actuality. Um, and again, those kinds of elements you can play with. The core of the character is who she is as a person and what she does with her speed powers and stuff. And anyway, so uh, I like this. I don't have much more to say. You can find Angela's stuff at brandnewlovesong.tumblr.com. Uh, it'll be linked in the description and also in the description is a, a link to the blog, my blog, which is luminous, which is luminousbeings.blog. And you can find a little bit more about Pulse, uh, there's kind of a little bio about her, about Sonia, and uh, anyway, she's an older character, I like the attitude she's got, um, I think it's cool to have an old character, I, I, I've mentioned this before and I'll just be brief, I, I love the concept of having an age range of characters, and uh, this was uh, actually my idea before I saw uh, Jay Garrick, the old Flash, uh, from, I don't know, World 2 in, uh, in the CW Flash show, um, so... It's a fun idea, and they did good things with it there, and I'm sure I could do uh, interesting and very different things with it here. Um, so, this is Pulse. This is her current version. This is uh, Mark II, as I'm calling all these that Angela are doing. And uh, as soon as she's done with all of them, we're going to cycle back around and uh, work on tweaking the characters. But that's uh, that's Pulse. I'm, I'm happy with her. And uh, that's it for this episode of Secret Origins. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, go ahead and give me a, a like. 
share, subscribe, and you can hit notifications so that you are informed every time I put out a video. Be well, do not curse the darkness, shine your light. Until next time.